throughout the land. My brothers are in me as I am with them. This is the truth, the truth from which all life has stemmed. So if I'm in you and you are in me, then when I awake in the morning, I truly am we. I am your eyes as your eyes become mine. Together we journey, precious jewels we will find. Pearls of wisdom wrapped up in a phrase lead us to waters that help cleanse our ways. Those trails we have traveled and misunderstood unveil us our blindness, undrape us our hoods. For the fruit tastes much sweeter upon all of our tongues. I stand as a mountain when I stand thee among. As you are the river that's fed from the streams, we are the passion that feeds all our dreams. I am now speaking because you lend your ear, the truth from my heart you listen to hear. But I am what I am because you take your role to be in my dreams as each day it unfolds. Now let me serve you as you follow your heart. Where you go, I go, together we'll start. We do it together because we really are one. Your turn, then my turn, we walk, then we run. So I am because we are, remains part of my being, eternally grateful for this truth I am seeing. I pray this philosophy sits well with you too, and this wonderful word they call Ubuntu. Breathe, everybody. Let it in. Okay. Yes, I do that from time to time. So, Jake really just told you the whole talk, so I'm done. <laughs> I'm teasing. <sighs> this is a fun word. I'm going to ask Tony to put up picture number one for me and ask you to hit the lights for me, please. So Arna sent me this, well she posted it, oh, yes. and I'm going to read it to you. Not that you can't read, but I forgot my copy, so. <laughs> an anthropologist proposed a game to the kids in an African tribe. He put a basket of fruit, basket full of fruit near a tree and then told them that whoever got there first won the sweet fruits. When he gave them the signal to run, they all took each other's hands and ran together, then sat in a circle enjoying their treats. When he asked them why they chose to run as a group, when they could have had more fruit individually, one child spoke up and said, Ubuntu, how can one of us be happy if all the other ones are sad? Ubuntu in the Hosa culture, Koza. 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 culture means I am because we are. I'll, I'll learn African later. <laughs> Life support, support the war. You can still keep that up there. Ah, thank you, Arna. Because in the moment, it, it became a new favorite word for me. It's like I already believe in the philosophy of this. I already talk about this kind of all the time. We're always talking about it in one way, one form or another. Talk about one heart, one mind. As, as Jake was saying, some of the philosophies in this country, it kind of translates many ways actually, but human kindness, it's, it's a way of being, it's a way of living. It's a way of them knowing that they exist with each other, for each other, and that without that, they really aren't existing at all. It's them understanding that the good of the tribe really is for the good of the tribe. And, and there's many cultures that believe this. Uh, the Native American cultures, we always hear for the next seven generations. Everything they do is for the seven generations to come. Because we always know that we are all interconnected. I am because we are. It's more than just a saying, it's, it's more than just a concept, it's more than even just an idea. I've been saying this and many people have been saying this in more ways than one, especially when we talk about metaphysics and the fact that I always go back to the fun molecule song. It's like we truly are all one. But this concept now comes to us in our humanness. We can all dance the dance of physical law, metaphysical law, laws of attraction, Abraham, different concepts about metaphysics and energy and frequency and all that wonderful jazz. And I love hanging out there. I'll hang out there all the time because that is the truth of what is when it comes to physical law. How we hang out in that is up to us. And Ubuntu is kind of lending to that. 
It is saying how we hang out is the most important thing in this universe because we truly are connected to everything in the universe. So for me to deny you, I truly am denying me. We've heard masters say things like this before with Jesus and the I am in you, you are in me, we are one with each other or we are one with the Father. He's also said things like whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me. And it wasn't always supposed to be about just the yucky stuff. It was all supposed to be about the sweet stuff. It's like this this picture right here. Also, you know what? I, I'm just fascinated about how perfect of a circle that is with their feet. Yeah. That that got me even more than the story because to do that, it's it's as if as they are really one being right there. The way their feet form that circle, it's it's one circle. It's one it's one unit. It's one being there, and you can see that. And you can see that with children all over the place. We don't really learn the separateness until later in life. When you look at little kids, little, little, little kids, before intellect gets in, Miley's already past that point. She's already got her intellect and knows words like, mine. <laughs> but before that came online, Ubuntu was part of our fabric. It still is. We just intellectually blocked it with rhetoric and the word mind. There's some tribes in this world this country, this world, that have no word for mine at all. It doesn't exist in their language. They have words for ours in the family, but they don't have a word for just mine. And this is, again, part of the concept of this, is that we are all connected, but the thing is, I use the line in here, uh, I am now speaking because you lend your ear, the truth from my heart you listen to hear. But what I am, I am, because you take your role to be in my dreams as each day it unfolds. I cannot be who I am without you. It's impossible. Impossible. I cannot exist as Mark Pasqualino and all the flavors that come out of me, all the different philosophies, the different nuances, what may be judged as good, bad, or ugly, all of them have to be with you. It has to. If I were sitting here, which I do sometimes for fun when I'm up here cleaning or something, I'll sing and play, but if I were just sitting here talking to an empty room, what would the point be? Unless I was practicing talking for future engagement or singing or even just enjoying my time with myself. But from the perspective of wanting to teach something or wanting to relay a concept or share it, I need everybody else. But that's just one aspect. That's just more possible, you know, as the speaker in the moment. What about all the different things I've done throughout my life that I needed every other human being to be there with me to do, even if I hadn't met them yet? Who's the guy who made this stand, or the woman who made this stand so that I could sit this in front of me and have this piece of paper here? That person is an elemental, important person in this, in, well, for all of the people here because we have so many musicians. That's just one little, little, little aspect of this. What about the clothes we wear? To heck with modesty. It's like we passed modesty a long time ago because this is an open enough group to be in a nudist colony, right? <laughs> But clothes became part of the protection, and we just needed to protect our bodies. <laughs> All things to get stuck on, but that's okay. We'll work on that one later. <laughs> yes, well, I guess so. Maybe I'm more open than I realize. But, uh, <laughs> because that's part of Ubuntu, too. It's our birthday suits. It's nothing. Sometimes standing naked in front of, naked in front of each other in our just physicality is easier than telling each other how I feel, what fears I've had, that I love you. It's been hard to say I love you. But these are all part of it. That I'm always gonna lead us to, to within. I'm always gonna lead us to within. So I am because we are. Ah, a whole new perspective when you look inside. I am because we are. All the we's that are in me. Every single thought I've ever had is part of who I am. I am the person that you see at any given moment because the we's inside of me decided to be a community and they're still moving forward. And when I'm not getting along with the we's inside of me, how am I supposed to have this philosophy out here? How can I live this? How can I share my water or my fruit with you if I'm not even willing to share it with me? So there's always going to be this concept that goes back into us so that we can look in that mirror or look in the mirror at our house and start our day there. 
start our day with this Ubuntu philosophy from within me so that when I go out into the world, I can know that my part, my role for you is just as important as your role for me. It's whatever your dreams are, that's what this is. Now let me serve you as you follow your heart. Where you go, I go, together we'll start. We do it together because we really are one. Your turn, then my turn. We walk, then we run. Has any race ever been one alone? Somebody had to be there with you running. If we wanted to say, okay, I'm better, I'm worse, and that's, again, a completely different talk about comparison and competition, but the, it would be, the point would be moot to show up at the track that day if no one else was there. Unless, because this is my personal belief on competition, that if you compete with yourself and you're just always striving for your own personal best, and then you just go run with your friends, there's joy when the guy beat you. <coughs> You're like, wow, that was awesome. Or the girl, that was awesome. We revel in each other's joy, and that's another aspect of Ubuntu. We've talked about this before. Can I be just as happy with your success? Can I share in your success as if it were my own? And I could be flat broke in the moment. I could be in debt. I could owe the world everything. I could be in a moment where I may never get out of it in this lifetime. Can I still stand there? and being of joy for you and honor that because the fact that you're abundant I really am I got a, I got a, a fortune cookie fortune the other day I just finally got one that applied because <laughs> I always get weird random ones and at least if I can remember it so. broke is temporary but poor is a state of mind I like that one it's made me aware of my state of mind before. And when I want to have this philosophy of I am because we are, if I am feeling poor, what am I going to ripple out to the, to the group? If there is that bucket, or not bucket, but basket of sweet fruit, and I poison one of them and then throw it back in the mix, then I'm poisoning the group. Because that person from this philosophy the person who eats the poison fruit, we're all going to get sick. And we do. We watch it happen. How many times has one person walked into the room, whatever room it may be, work, play, uh, something extracurricular, hobbies, your church, your, your schooling, and they walked in with negativity. They walked in with poison. And it filtered down to the rest of the group. And then by the end of the day, everybody was over it and wanted to just go home. And then when you go home, your, your half side or your friends or your kids or your family are like, what's with you, and they can sense it, and they can feel it, and there's one person that poisoned you all day long, and you drank from it. You drank, kept drinking, drank it from the cup. And then we, I am because we are, philosophy works that way too sometimes, and we realize that I just now poisoned the rest of the village. It may have been my village at home, or it may have been the village in here, because if I let that person's negativity come down in me, and then forget the philosophy of how connected we are in love, and I only connect myself in fear, well, I'm going to be poisoning my own village. And I'm going to all the I am's, we are's in here are going to start getting more and more discombobulated. Or they're going to see that fear, forget everything and run, and take off and leave me empty. They may be here, but they're hiding. So then when we want to go live that I am, we are philosophy with someone else, only part of me showed up. I didn't bring the whole group. So if I'm now on the outer group, the us again, and five of the people say, no, I don't want to play this. What happens to the group feeling? There's going to be feelings with it. Sometimes there's going to be judgment, but mostly it's going to be sadness because we realize that there's now disharmony. And what we're really always wanting is harmony with each other. Always. It's always back to here, the harmony within. But some of the ways we can re-instill that harmony is as simple as watching children share fruit. This is one of the simplest things in the world. Now, we have more fruit in our lives, too. We have more abundant. We can go to the grocery store, buy the fruit. It's a lot easier to get. Has anyone ever been broke in their refrigerator? Been really scarce? Yeah. yeah. So that fruit tastes different the next day, doesn't it? <laughs> I've told this story before. I'm going to tell it again. 20-some years ago, we recovering from DTTP, and I had finally lost every single cent I had. And someone had brought me a vegetarian lasagna 
Full-blooded Italian here. Wasn't anything I had ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I took a couple bites and I was like, Ugh. and I'm like, thank you, and put it in the freezer. And like six, seven months later, when now I was completely broke and had nothing at all, no food, nothing, I had a, I literally eaten a ketchup and cornflake sandwich before, which wasn't as bad as you think when you're really hungry. <laughs> hey, you see people eating bugs when they're really hungry. So now it's down to this freezer burnt, because I didn't wrap it any better than, I just stuck it in the freezer. And it's, uh, it's been there seven, eight months, six, seven, eight months, freezer in the freezer, it's all there. A big solid rock of unrecognizable ice covered blob of vegetarian lasagna. So to, to, to really serve it and do it justice, I put it in a microwave and nuked it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all cooked and nice and hot and devoid of any nutrients. And as it was glowing and took it out of the microwave, I went on my back patio. Before I took a bite, I realized, wow, man, if it wasn't for this, you wouldn't be eating today. And I held it up and I said, Spirit God, thank you. And, and the person, I didn't know her name, I just knew it was BJ's mom, a girl that was in our workshop. Uh, went by BJ and this was her mom who made it for me so I never even met the woman so I just held it up and I said thank you BJ's mom if it wasn't for you today I would not be eating and I took a bite I have never had something taste more delicious in my life I was shocked I started crying of course but a good <laughs> cry because I instantly heard the nanosecond it happened everything tastes sweeter with gratitude <clears throat> And it was one of the most powerful lessons of Ubuntu I've ever had in my life. Because I felt the oneness with that woman that day and I'd never even met her. I just, I had met her daughter and I loved her. She's a wonderful person, a wonderful soul. And I didn't even know her that much. We only met through workshops. And when you do a workshop, you really get to know people's hearts. You feel like you've known them your whole life and well, we have because of Ubuntu. We are all connected. We are really, really, really connected. And when I just connected with the gratitude of that moment, it all came flooding in. All of it. Every person that she's ever loved came flooding into my heart. Can you walk by a person in joy and feel it? Can you walk by someone and feel their life? and enjoy it for them, with them, and know that you can have the same joy if we just get out of the way. I'm always in my way. <laughs> I'm always in my way of this beautiful word. That blocks for me from remembering that I am connected with every single person that I thought hurt my feelings at any given point in life. That this person that I thought stepped on my toe, even if they really did step on my toe, it's like it was me waking my own self up, saying, Mark, look at something, look at some of the details in your life. Every single nanosecond of this life is your creation. And every nanosecond of mine is mine. And every nanosecond of ours is our creation. And that's again what I am because we are is lending to, is that we truly are connected with every single breath that we take. When we when I invite us to do the sound and noisy breath, or what Scott calls Pascalino breath, the, the, the making, the vibrating that off is, as we do that, do you, do you notice that you feel more connected with each other also? Because when we do the, uh, it's a frequency, it's a musical note. Uh, uh, the musicians will probably be able to hear the note quicker than I am, but it brings us into oneness like that. I told you I've been sneaking oming in on you guys all year because I know the vibration and, and what that does for us and I know when I sit there in my own home and, and om or chant or make any kind of sound mm -hmm. like that that resonates and do it for any amount of time that as I do it I start to feel that oneness that all those alone feelings all those those people inside that think they're alone from me and from you as soon as I start to ohm or chant or do something that vibrates my heart chakra, the love is right there. Instantaneously, I feel connected with everyone, and I'm it, whether they're with me or not. Loneliness is hard to sneak in when you're oming. 
or when you're meditating or when you're chanting or when you're singing when you're making any kind of noise the whole universe is made of breath movement and sound the the universe itself is ubuntu i am because we are the stars the gases let get back into the science of just the physical universe again everything is related would you be so kind as to put picture number two up and hit the lights for me the Lakota universe can be described as Matakuye Oyasin, or Matakuyasin, which is what you always hear me and Scott say. That means everything is connected, interrelated and dependent in order to exist. The universe includes all things that grow, things that fly, everything you see in the world, or the place that you walk on. These are all included in what the Lakota see as the universe. All of this is related. And you can leave that there for a moment, but you can pop the lights back on, please. These are the same words, guys. They're the same concept. It's the same meaning. It's everything. It's connected. The whole entire universe is interrelated. We are part of the universe. When you hear me say Matakwayasin, I am acknowledging that I am with you, and you are with me, and that we are related. All my relations this is part of my relations. We're judging this as an inanimate object. And I know with that judgment, that in my heart, that I would have a lot less grief if this melted than if one of you did. So we do know that within this lifetime that we can feel the energies off of different things and our own being recognizes an attachment to those things. I promise you the moment you cross over, you're gonna laugh at it all. I promise you that, because we really are in an illusion of this. If you can get to the point of nirvana when you realize that this is no different than another human being, well, you're going to transcend a lot of different things in your own emotions, but you're also going to be dealing with life a, a little bit differently. And that can be a goal or not. It doesn't have to be the goal in your life to get to the point where you can look at this and feel the same as another human being. That's going way beyond what I'm trying to talk about right now. It's, a, it's knowing that molecularly, like the song that Becky always sings, that this isn't even what it was when it started. And that when it does melt, it's not going to be gone. It's just going to change its form. And that's all that anything has ever done in the, in the universe. I may be walking here right now, but what was here in Coco, what we call Coco two million years ago? It was still an earth under, underneath me but it looked different and molecularly, all the molecules were different than they are now. Now we built something here and we're all together. We're in a physical world. But what about that non-physical world, the feeling world, the world that happens in your heart, the world that happens in your mind and in your thoughts, that is just as much a part of the universe as that. And if you think that you're not connected to each other when you're thinking, the Buddha always says, this is the mantra of the Buddha, thoughts become things, thoughts become things, thoughts become things. So if I'm thinking ill of you, hmm, I gotta remember Ubuntu. I am connected, I am connected with you on every single level. If I'm thinking ill of you, I am thinking ill of me, I'm thinking ill of everyone, I'm thinking ill of this. And, I, and I'm using this on purpose to bring it down almost to ridiculousness so that you understand and remember that we are all connected. Every single thing in the universe is part of you. We know that elements in us, the earth elements, were carbon-based life forms, and everything in, in this earth is kind of goes off that. I don't know other planets, I haven't been there, but this one pretty much, that's how the laws of physics works. But again, there's so much more than that. It's like, I'm just, really learning about quantum physics and things like that, but I've walked around in it. So whether you know it or not, you're walking around in it. So whether you realize that we're all connected or not, you've been walking around in it since you started walking on the planet. And if you want to walk around in it on purpose, bring the philosophy of Ubuntu into your heart. Bring the philosophy of Matakwayasin into your heart. Constantly walk around knowing that I am related to everything and that when I say I'm a sister or a brother, than to treat them like a sister or a brother. And to know that inside of me, I have other sisters and brothers. <coughs> uh, it's all gonna work, always. The inside, the outside, it's always gonna match. Matter of fact, the outside will match what's going on on the inside. Just like my little fortune cookie there. 
broke is temporary, but poor is a state of mind. How many times have we felt poor inside? And I, I know I have. I've been battling it all year. It's like as you're, it's really easy to feel that way when you're broke. It's one of those like, little tricks to get out of it. But it's reminding, like what you were saying to me when we were talking one day about let the universe take care of the other half of things. We've heard these philosophies throughout life, let go, let God. God helps those who help themselves. Visualize it, and then you will manifest it. Can you do that from the inside? Can you do this when I look at each other, and can we truly walk hand in hand to the fruit? Are we going to do that or are we going to just run and see who gets theirs first? It's so ingrained in our society to run and see who gets theirs first. Gets there first. That's why I was talking about competition. And For me, competition is fear. It's fear of lack. It's fear of not being good enough. It's fear of lack of love. I'll always bottom line it to lack of love. Because in this universe, in this life of life, what would we really fear the most? As long as our necessities are made, met, food, shelter, that our body will be fine. What would there be to fear but being alone? Because humanly, we want to be with someone. And that's, again, part of this Ubuntu philosophy. I am because we are is the, probably the biggest and most important sentence in all of our lives. To know that we are all related, all of this is related, all of this together is the most important philosophy for us to live. Because no matter what your spiritual belief system is, you can go back to being a fundamental Christian if you want. You can be Catholic, you can be Buddhist, you can be Hindu, you can be Baptist. You can be all of it, it doesn't matter. If you just simply had that philosophy right there, the way you walked around on the planet with other people would transcend your religion. It wouldn't even matter. You would lose your religion without even realizing you lost your religion. Because this one doesn't have any rules. This is about what, what wherever Jake went. What he was saying is what Ubuntu really translate is human kindness. It's kind of a, a way of an expected, like, not even thought about philosophy. You ever heard the expression of unwritten rules, but things that people, it's, it's kind of one of those. It's something that was a gift to us, and we forgot the gift. You know, other picture, that's okay. But kids like that are the ones who are here to remind us. And little kids that we see in our own world every single day that just share and share and share. It's like, you just watch Bella right now. She's still in that stage. She'll share anything with you, slobber and all. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's the philosophy that I want in my heart. When I saw this picture and I read this little thing, and yeah, thank you. It really, I was so happy that you, because I'm just a little kid inside, man. We all are. And sometimes I need to remember simple philosophies like this to just bring me back home. Just to remind me that I am really connected with everybody. I already knew it, but to remember the joy of it. These kids knew the joy of it. When they, they, they were looking at the guy like what he, like almost like he was crazy to even conceive of. What do you mean someone's gonna eat all the fruit in the home? That doesn't need, it didn't even make sense to them. It didn't even make sense to them. Again, they don't even have word for mine in their language. I would like to erase it out of ours. So this one's a challenge. This one is a challenge for every single person walking the planet, challenge for every single one of us that say we want to walk the planet towards each other. We, we claim to be new thought, <coughs> excuse me, and that's a good thing. And I've, I've even done a talk before of what does new thought mean? Does it mean that we just do this for ourselves, or are we going to remember that we're in this all together? That this Ubuntu philosophy and that Matakwayasin and all these other wonderful world words from different cultures that I have yet to learn that mean we are all related and we are all connected can be the biggest philosophy of our heart that simply <laughs> reminds us about one love. Matakwayasin, thank you. Yeah.
So 